Uh, okay. Uh, so, welcome to another uh, Guild War. Today is Friday. Let's go see what's going on over here. So, we're ranked 231. Um, we lost the last one. Just barely, though. So, that was kind of... Uh, I, think, I think we might have. Let's go look at uh, our thing here. War status. No, that's not it. War ranking. War log. Okay, so we, we fought against these guys. So we lost by about 600. Yeah. That's not too bad. But, you know, let's see. Would have been better if we uh, hadn't lost. Um, yeah, let's get uh, down here. So let's see what's going on. This tower, I might attack them. Just to help, uh, you know, there's only three of us left, so... Yeah, whatever, no strat. Mm, let's go see over here. So... They have 4,000... Oh, so we're just gonna stomp on them, yeah. We have the same amount of tokens and they have about half. <laughs> okay, so we're good. Uh, actually, on, on that note, let's go take a look at how we did. Uh, so not bad. Uh, two... Somebody lost against both of us. They, um... Our first team, as always, keeps winning, and then our, our second team is a little lackluster. Um, yeah, I really need to figure out what to do down here, but um, yeah, I just it's not easy. Um, and then this top team, somebody you know, actually good, just stomped on us. So it, it is what it is. Um, let's go over here. So I think what I might do is just take these two towers out, and then. Um, that tower or this tower. So I'll hit this tower. Let's hit these two towers. Oh, that's interesting. We have a crown on defense here. Spending a lot of time thinking here. I'm not entirely sure what exactly to do. It's kind of a bad idea, but it is, you know, I'll just do it. I really want more damage up here. I just want to, like, out damage this team. I think that might be uh, the way to go. I guess maybe something, well. Let's see, down here, we're going to get AoE'd by him. The healing is good, and this is good. I think I think we're good here. Um, what might be necessary is like uh, we need a water damage, uh, a grass damage dealer. So I think I might actually have to bring you down here. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Um, let's go see about. Up here. Just gonna go with uh, go with you. Um, she's gonna steal buffs, which is kind of whatever. But I'll just focus her down first, and then uh, we'll see where we go from there. Um, of course, she'll be triggering her thing, which is kind of annoying. And then not only that, she's gonna be feeding her stacks. But uh, I'm just kind of hoping we can out damage them. 
Doesn't seem like a very good idea, but it is what it is. Let's just get in there. Maybe like an like probably I think you know and you know, always <laughs> what happens when I attack. Uh, so uh, so late, but like uh, maybe just like ox lots. Um, then see what that does. Maybe like ox lots her, and then uh, you know go from there. But um, it's not what we ended up doing. Ox lots maybe uh, Yufin kill her, and then do whatever comes later. But you know. Let's hit you, because I want to see how squishy she is. We got the uh, team up from you, so that's good. Okay, so I did some insane damage. Okay. Sometimes you just kind of like forget that it's like, hey, wait a minute, Arbiter does a lot, a lot of damage. Um, but yeah. Uh, she didn't do a whole lot, I didn't do a whole lot of damage to Rowana, but that's because... Um, uh, it looks like a lot of damage because like the SSB is obviously throwing damage onto her. Uh, let's see you. Okay, well, yeah. So this is kind of a good thing, right? Like, either we get the heal or we get the RB damage. It's like either way, it's kind of a win-win. So let's heal. Okay. Okay. So I can stun her. Sorry, I'm a little quiet today and just kind of focusing. I'm kind of tired too. Not the best day. Um, I forgot. I felt like I was supposed to do something else as well, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, that's that was a waste. Um, but basically, I mean, at least I'm getting the shield. Is kind of what the uh, point was that? What was that here? Okay, so only she got the defense break, which is fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Let's see what kind of damage we're doing now. Oh, we killed her. Cool. Uh, let's push everybody forward. I probably should have healed to some degree there, but that's fine. So yeah, like I said, I mean, what, what happened here was just like... Uh, I just wanted as much damage as I could, and, and I guess, you know, the uh, t we turned out to be lucky. Um, I kind of like this team here, too. The uh, Lilius either brings the Basar, and then I heal with my team... Or I do extra damage. Um, so let's see what this what's going on here. So we get the we get this to everybody. All systems online. So twenty one. That's actually kind of interesting. How um, how uh, not that much health he has, which is five k, which is pretty good, honestly. Um, right now we want to get yeah. You know, let's just get defense buff up. Strip all these uh, buffs if we can here. Okay, cool. Um, who? So they don't have any debuffs. So actually, it doesn't really matter. I'm actually just gonna give this to Charles so that when he has an extra buff for when he has twos. Um. Yeah, that's really about it. Just more damage. Okay. So with these two AOEs, I'm kind of feeding, um, uh, what's his name, uh, ML Krau's S3 or S2 passive thing, but that's all right. I mean, it's not it's not a whole lot. Okay, so let's hopefully get this counterattack. Okay, cool. So basically, she should be dead. Oh no. Okay, so they're they're focusing on Alencia, which is good because then uh, she gets to Mind's Eye proc easier. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, look at how much damage we're doing to him on solo, right? Like, he's already back, basically half hit, or half health. Um, come on, yep, nice. Come on, come on. S2, S2, please. Damn it. 
Okay, come on, Charles. Yes, S2. One into S3. Yep, cool. Okay, so I think we should kill Charles because he's going to be the or uh, ML Crow. He's going to be doing the most damage. Yeah, so that's him dead. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's like uh, the delayed reaction that was kind of like uh, worrisome. Okay, so she's putting these buffs up, but this is okay because she's about to die, I think. Yeah, she'll, she'll, she'll be dead from this. Okay. So Alencia, as always, uh, proving her worth uh, in any facet of this game. So any of you, anybody who maybe wonders, uh, is she really worth it here or there or anything? I mean, she, she's always going to be worth it, whether it's Guild Wars, um, let's see, regular arena, um, RTA and all that. Uh, so yeah, I, you know. You, you can't go wrong with her. Like, you build her, you can max imprint her, and you're, you're gonna be solid for quite a while, unless, like, she gets some nerfs or uh, something happens to the game in the near future. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just need to get a uh, slightly better gear on her. Let's see. S1, come on, S2, please. Thank you. Oh, she doesn't have a lot of effectiveness because my Charles has, like, no effective. Or, she doesn't have a lot of F res because my Charles has, like, no effectiveness. I think she's also. What is that? Mega Harrow's Tome? Yeah, that would explain why she's moving so fast. Let's see what kind of. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know. I mean. She's kind of irritating now, like obviously I'm not um, doing as much damage to her as I'd like over time. But I don't think Mega Haro's Tome is the, really the way to go. Um, I really think you want the, the healing from the uh, the uh, Amaryllis on her. I'm going with the S3 because I think it does more damage. Than a, just a, a regular S1. 4K. Okay, yeah, she's dead. Yep, okay. So that was fine. Um, the teams that I went in there were kind of risky, but uh, it all turned out pretty well. Um, depending on how tanky that SSB or how tanky that team was, like, like I've seen some Rwanda's like, like 21,000 HP or something like that, right? And it's like, that's a lot of HP. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, let's come over here, see what's going on here. This is a lot of AoE, uh, so let's bring in... Where is... You? Let's bring in... SSB. If I can find her. Okay, here she is. And I want to bring that, but I don't because she's probably gonna die. Uh, what about you? So she's going to be hitting us with burns, but I think that should be fine. She didn't have debuffs and shouldn't have debuffs. We'll see how this goes. Um, down here, what do I want to do? I'm kind of just uh, in a bit of an arbor. Like, I'm just going to, well, how's that team down there? We're looking. I kind of like this team actually again. I might want to try it out one more time. But with Arbiter Villager there instead. Um, yeah, I might, yeah, I really just want to put Arbiter. So I'm just looking for an excuse to, to put him somewhere. Um, let's see. I want him. Let's put Alencia. Let's take off Alencia. Okay, let's see what this does for me. I'm actually kind of concerned about this. I don't think this is going to go very well uh, in the bottom team. This top team looks a little easier. I think maybe the top team, this top team, I should have gone with the uh, Arbiter because I think you just kill everybody here <laughs> with a one shot on the S3. So 
was kind of a uh, foresight here. And that looks like some serious damage that happened to my SSB there. Uh, Semi-serious. <laughs> okay, so she's going to hit the G purge. Um, those of you who do watch... See, well, uh, the no one has it, like I said, no one, well, she's gonna have debuff, so I'm just gonna put this on you. Um, for those of you who watch Mango's stuff, um, yeah, I mean, I really do think, I have to agree with him, like, I'm, I'm digging the, uh, the G-Perg, like, for, for, like, a bunch of my guild lords you guys have been seeing, just, just bring G-Perg into a lot of stuff, like, he just bullies, like, he takes advantage, he basically just takes advantage of, um, what's his name? Riolu, because, like, he really is not gonna kill him with the S3, and he just sits there like hitting him over and over again, uh, feeding you all kinds of just like uh, speed to the whole team, and it's hard to like outpace how much damage he's doing by hitting the uh, uh, how much uh, what's the word? It's not damage, but like how much just kill you because she's about to S1 somebody. It's hard to out, it's hard for the, the AI team to outpace like how much how much detriment Arbor uh, um, Riolu is causing by hitting my uh, General Pergus over and over again. Um, so let's do this. Get everybody forward. Okay, this is gonna be some serious damage because I get yeah. So I get the Arbiter S three here, and I get the Charles S three before he gets the defense buff, which I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was like, yeah, yeah, I get that, but no, yeah, uh, there's too much speed on, on this guy's side here. Um, let's just hit this, I guess. It's good It's good to have this the uh, attack buff on the Arbiter. Um, we're going to get hit by the SSB, but that's okay. Okay, she's going to hit SSB. Oh, she hit herself, okay. Very nice. Um, so now I can just hit SSB for free. Come on, Charles. I want to see that. Uh, yep, nice. Okay, come on, S2. I don't know if this will kill her. I really doubt it will, though. Oh, it did. Very nice. Uh, let's hit you, I guess. I got the stun. Excellent. Oh, well, not that, not that good, I guess. Oh, thank goodness. I, I, like, there you go. That's excellent because um, it means that he'll attack Charles every time and avoid the Arbiter Village. Even, there you go. I'm like 20 steps ahead of myself. Um, let's get this. That's a lot of damage. Actually, I like it. Now it's just a matter of dealing with uh, Raz. Oh, very cool. The crit. Counter attack, nice. Three thousand crit. Greater Alexis. Okay, so we just got all the luck in this one. There you go. Um, so yeah, I just gotta farm a little bit more with Arby, and uh, he'll get the uh, what's, what's it called? The friendship. I'll max out the friendship and all that stuff, so he'll get. Let's go find one of these. So don't want to fight this one, or don't want to fight this one. Uh, I want to fight this one. Yeah, I like this one. Uh, let's do, let's just do, yeah, this one looks fun. So let's just do you. Let's ox slots this. Where is my ox slots? He's around here somewhere. There he is. So my Watcher Shuri is finished leveling. I just need to put gear on him, but obviously I don't have a lot of gear. Uh, to just spare so there he is he's finished leveling and then not only that I have to awaken him but I'm saving them for uh, ML Crow, uh, who will be I'm gonna summon for on the next rotation if well yeah I'm probably just gonna summon I mean I, like I talked about like you know what my plans were for that but yeah I think I'm just gonna summon ultimately um, up here I'm just gonna go with you Actually, I kind of like this down here, so her killing him, she's going to S3, do nothing, and then he's going to AoE. Though, no. 
Hmm. Of course, I have my Melissa. She's been here since, like, the day she came out. I, I got her and I leveled her and all that stuff, but, uh... Not, uh, not too good an investment at the time. Now, obviously, she's a little better. Um... Actually, yeah, so this top one is actually kind of interesting because I don't know what to do. Um, I think I'm going to bring you because I don't want to get... Um, what's it called? You, you... Yeah, so I think the defense buff might outweigh the attack buff over there on their side. Um, yeah. Uh, and I, I need to bring him... I'd, normally I'd probably just bring... Uh, what's her name? Where is she? The girl, uh, DN, but like defense break, buff block, unhealable, and then like defense break on him, and it's just like, ah, it's like way too many debuffs, I don't want to worry, worry about. Um, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, this is probably a bad idea, but it is what it is, so I'm just going to go in, in there. Okay. Let's get this defense buff up for everybody. Let's see how much effect resistance we have on her. Let's see if we can get her. Wow, what the... What? That's a naked, naked Chloe. A naked, naked... <laughs> That's a naked, made Chloe. What's going on there? Somebody took their gear off, forgot to put it back. Oof, that's major, um, that's major oofage right there. Um, so, for those of you who, who obviously I haven't said anything about like why I'm building, why I took out like Watcher Sherry. Watcher Sherry has been there and he's been Triple S for a long time now, but uh, the main reason I wanted to watch her show is because I'm getting kind of tired of, of Rowana's. Um, and I, I want something to just like one turn her, like one cycle her to death. Um, let's see. This is actually getting kind of tough because now uh, he could kill us. And of course, oh, thank goodness. So we got this done. Um... But yeah, I, I just I just want something that'll one cycle a uh, a Rowana, and I feel like personally anyway, I think that um, the the Watcher Shuri can do it. So I'm gonna have to test out a bunch of numbers, see how that goes, um, see what's going on with that. I, I probably could have just done it in the math, but so it was not only not only was it just like you know I want something to get rid of the uh, the Rowana, hopefully with the one shot. I also you know you want to consider. Uh, Riolu, I think maybe he can do enough damage to just one shot him if I need if I need to. But like I said, I've got kind of Riolu a certain kind of under like con not not a hundred percent control, but it's like it's not that big a deal, right? Because uh, like I said, bring General Pergus into Guild War stuff, and like he'll just kind of focus and feed you uh, CR. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my the way I've been looking at that. So this is also this is the last round of the last attack. So if I lose anybody here, it's fine. Uh, basically, is what that amounts to. Uh, do I want to do that? Let's not yet. Well, yeah, let's just do it. Seven K damage, not bad. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, then we get the uh, barrier here. Let's do this, because we can. Okay, everybody resisted that. So no one's no one's focusing on Arbiter, which is good, because you could just free fire on the front line here. Oh, there we go. No, she's focusing him. She's going to hit her. Kind of sad, but it is what it is. Okay, so she's a little bit about to go, so let's just push you up instead. Give you the attack buff. Okay. She actually did quite a bit of damage to that fire, to the fact that, like, uh, she's fire unit. I found that kind of interesting there. Okay, well, she's gonna hit her again. Hopefully this doesn't kill her. Okay, very cool. Ugh, that was fast. 
Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a lot faster cycling these uh, buffs and healing because of the uh, what's it called. Oh, that was beautiful. Let's do this. Let's do this again, Tanya Man Arbiter. He's uh, he's no joke. He just gets free uh, crits on uh, against anti crit buff there. <laughs> um, so this is good. This is why you know I was thinking about the Arbiter because like even if she kills the uh, Lilibet, which she, I think she's going to right now, it's okay. Like Arbiter is good enough that he can like one hit her, like he can now, and then uh, revive and then hit her again. Um, yeah. So sometimes just overwhelming damage uh, goes a long way. Oh wow! Uh, I guess I didn't go quite enough that time. Uh, but this should be over now. There we go. Uh, sometimes just overwhelming damage can can beat certain lineups. Like if you're sitting there like being kind of passive and going, "Oh, I, I kind of need some tankiness." Like sometimes you can get beat out like that. Now, could I have gone like a more tanky setup and then kind of tried to fight them out like um, kind of bruisery? Maybe, but sometimes that, that can cost you uh, in the long run, uh, just kind of like being safe. Um, but yeah, sometimes you can just like throw the damage in there. Uh, of course, like being it was it was the last one of the guild war at that point, so I could like um, lose a little bit and not really care, and like lose any units and not really care too much about that. Um, but yeah, that's it. So that's my three attacks today. Um, hopefully, you found something here. Um, just the idea that like. Sometimes uh, the answer is more damage. Like you can just throw more damage in there, and, and you'll be fine. Um, yeah, and obviously uh, Arbiter Villager Luck, where you just hit multiple times through crit debuff. Uh, but yeah, that's that. But uh, yeah, all right. Well, I'll uh, see you guys. I uh, might have a video this weekend. I don't know. I uh, don't have anything planned. Um, yeah, I mean, I already summoned for Landy. I'm not gonna do a showcase of Landy. Uh, she's still leveling and a bunch of other stuff. And um, my Watcher Shuri, I'm not going to do a showcase of because like you'll probably see him in Guild Wars if he's worth it. But for those of you who want to know what I'm building on him, just put I'm just putting the Nixseed Sam Sanctum like crit damage, crit chance set on him. Um, yeah, so I, you know, it's kind of simple. Like that 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 set. Like if you want to know how to build Watcher Shuri, just get that set and put it on him. Um, but as you saw, Melissa, one of the things I wanted to point out was like. It was kind of stupid that I that I did that, that I wasted that fodder on the Watcher Shuri, because I forgot that I had the Melissa stored away in the like the waiting room, so I could just I like I'm pretty sure she can just two you know one hit one two combo a Rowana to death, um, on her own with the same gear I'm gonna put on Watcher Shuri, so that was kind of stupid of me. Um, not to mention a lot of people are saying you can just counter Riolus with her as well, so there you go. It's another like. Basically, like I said, it's just kind of like immense stupidity on my part uh, is what happened there. So uh, you live and learn. Um, but again, I'll, I'll probably test both of them out. I mean, just one set. I can just swap the sets back and forth between the two um, and just kind of see who I care, who I like better. Uh, part of me, like, I want to go with Melissa, obviously, because, you know, I like waifus better than um, just dudes. But I don't know. Watcher Surrey is pretty cool. I like his guns. I like his, uh, like his style. Pretty chill, dude. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we'll see how that goes um, going forward. But um, yeah, that's it for today. And like I said, probably not. Don't don't really have anything planned for the weekend. But you know, we'll see who we'll see 